Ferguson, you're recognized. Thank you, Mr. Chairman and Mr. Turner. If I could just simply say amen to you. I'm from a district that saw the devastation of a job market following NAFTA. We were home to the largest part of the textile industry prior to NAFTA. And because of decisions in D.C., we lost a generation of workers and we plunged more people into poverty because the insensitive nature of decisions that are made in Washington, D.C. Now we're doing it to more rural communities that, are, that, that, that have been producing the energy that America needs. Your comments are spot on. Mr. Chairman, if I could submit for the record an article from the National Review where John Kerry simply suggests, and it's reported, that oil workers laid off due to Biden policy should go make solar panels. So ordered. Thank you, Mr. Chairman. Ladies and gentlemen, that shows the insensitivity of people that are making these policy decisions. Where, what, what, these people have grown up in, in these communities. They have built their lives there. They built their families there. And now you're simply saying, uproot and go move somewhere else. The devastation in our rural communities. We have way too many people on this dais that don't care about rural America because there aren't enough voters there to get them reelected, and they are completely out of touch with so many of the problems that we're facing. Washington, D.C. has done a hell of a job of turning rural America into an inner city. The two groups of people in this country that share the most in common all too often are rural America and the folks in the inner city. Lack of economic opportunity, failing education, spiral high drug use, high crime, and failing infrastructure. It is painful to watch our fellow Americans go through this. And while they are gutting our communities for policies like this, that are promise of jobs that I promise you will never come back to this reservation that you, that you described. It's taken a generation and a half to get those jobs back in our district. And we've done it. And we've overcome Washington, D.C. in the great state of Georgia in the third district. But all the time that they're gutting our communities, 90% of these, of these tax credits are going to the wealthiest corporations and to the wealthiest Americans. 90% of them going to companies that have over a billion dollars in profit. So while my colleagues on the other side of the aisle talk about how important it is that corporate America pay its fair share, and they say it over here, they then turn around and give them the largest tax break that basically drives down to zero, their tax rate. What in the heck are they talking about? Oh, we want them to pay, but we're going to give them a huge tax break and a huge subsidy. This is lunacy. And by the way, now... We've under, you know, parent, joint tax apparently underscored this thing so badly that now we're, we're talking about over a trillion dollars. So they want to raise taxes on one hand and then they want to, to, to almost a trillion dollars in new taxes. Then they want to go ahead and give somebody a trillion dollar tax break. The hypocrisy is stunning, if not nauseating. So I look at this and think to myself, why are we doing this? Why are we funding the Chinese Communist Party? The, China, the, 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 the private investment firm CALT that's involved in automotive technology policy, the Chinese company, these tax credits through, through licensing could actually go th to the Chinese Communist Party. This, these folks mean to do us harm and they mean to take down America. We have a bipartisan committee looking at competitiveness with China. Why in the world would we send $1 one dollar of U.S. taxpayer dollars to the Chinese Communist Party. It makes absolutely no sense. So when I look at these things and I look at what they're doing, it, 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 it's, it's just mind-boggling to me. We say that we want to fight China, yet we're going to fund China. We say that we want to help rural America, yet we gut rural America. We want major corporations to pay their fair share, and yet we're going to give them almost over a trillion dollars in green energy tax credit to lower their tax liability. How else are you going to pay for all this other stuff if you're doing that? This makes no sense. I, I just wish that my colleagues on the other side of the aisle, many of them, would understand 
the lives that they, are ru that, that they will ruin in rural America and in rural districts like mine. It is hard to watch. And Mr. Chairman, I yield back.